Those ones are easy because really there's actually no rotation change on them at all because they're uh, aligned pretty much to the viewport. This one here is a bit different. Uh, it one, This one is actually, uh, um, you know, aligned differently. It's actually rotated a bit to, uh, to angle with the face a bit. And so with this one, you'll actually see that it's placing it right on the other side as the other ones did. So it's right where it's supposed to be. And that's... Uh, it's perfect. So let's just color these right away. Uh, I'm just going to say shapes, grab all those, and I have the color left, right. And it's got a threshold area to it as well um, for how close it is to the center line. And that will have just gone and colored them all red. Now we don't need that anymore. So with the uh, with the eye bones, uh, let's just go back to all. With the eye bones, what we need to do is we need to um, group basically all of these to make sure that we're working in their in their local space when we deal with the rotations on each joint. So group each object. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, a size of five, I believe, and we'll say um, group. And so they're all in there. And I'm not sure those are ever parented up. So let me just parent those up to the uh, control in the head again. The main main one again. It could just be to the head bone. So they should all uh, rotate with it. Now when we uh, rotate these joints and connect these joints, uh, we can connect them on the uh, z-axis and that z-axis will uh, react as though it's, it's local because it's been parented off to something that is aligned to it. So very similar, but what we're going to do is again, same sort of thing. Let's go in and grab all of our bones across the top we're going to work with. Um, I always start with the, we could put the list controller actually directly on the y-axis if we wanted. Um, I always have list controllers and everything, just uh, same reason as always. If I ever want to go back and, and make adjustments to things, um, you know, uh, and, and change the orientation or reuse this, this facial rig in another character, I want to be able to repurpose it. All I need to do is make sure that the first controller and that initial list controller is active, and then I can do all the uh, changing of it I want, that I want, and uh, it'll, uh, it'll not affect anything else. So it's just sort of a standard of, of develop for my own working habits. Um, you know, develop your own. There's there's uh, all kinds of uh, you know ways you can use list controllers to uh, uh, to your advantage. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wire the uh, Z rotation into the um, Y movement of this object here. So again, same thing. We're going to say um, the uh, Z rotation. Now what we want on the Z rotation is that list controller again so that we can affect the weight of it. So before we go and do that again, same thing, let's go in here. I filtered this out by the way to show only um, rotation tracks now, just to make it a bit easier. So I want the Z rotation of the animation track on all three of these. Assign controller. I'm going to float list into it. And then uh, I'm going to say Rotation, animation, Z rotation, and the available track again. And we're going to put that into the Y up and down. And we should just be able to connect it. And, oops, connect. And it actually looks like it's going the opposite direction. So all these are going to have to be negative. There's the other side they weren't. Um, this is because these were. Uh, mirrored over and not actually mirrored but rotated into place so it looks like the, the z-axis the one is, is actually um, opposite values now because it's the uh, joints been rotated around into place so you can see now it's actually moving that one up and down now what I discovered once we got this hooked up so we're gonna have to multiply the outside ones a little bit by uh, some factor to uh, make sure they move at the same rate um, and you kinda see what I'm talking about in a minute so rotation animation Z rotation available again. And again to the Y track. And this one as well. And to the Y track again. And you can see that when I pull this down, oops, we didn't uh, invert the other two. So I'll just say invert that one. And I'll just invert this one, update. And you can see that 